Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Thursday, February 4th, 2021. So yesterday, we had a little bit of back and forth in the price action, but I think at the end of the day, we've got to give this up to the bulls. Bulls maintain control. There were some half-hearted attempts by the bears. However, we still seem to be a little bit challenged by some overhead price resistance. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle into our office chair, and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, good morning, everyone, from a very chilly Nebraska morning. Um, we had quite a weather change um, yesterday and now we've got some really really cold weather coming into play let's hope that doesn't affect the way the market trades and uh, cool things off here in the market as well let's take a look here if we um, try to analyze what we've got going on here as I draw these trend lines see if they agree with your ideas of the market although we had the bulls maintaining control yesterday and not giving up at all you can see we still are challenged by some price resistance levels in this chart. Now, I don't know that they're all that strong, but we need a little bit of an encouragement here to push those through. And if you happen to just take the stocks in the Dow and kind of flip through the stocks in the Dow, you're going to see that there are a lot of stocks that are not exactly in favorable buy positions in the Dow index itself. So kind of an interesting situation going on here as we're pressing these resistance levels. Will we have enough energy to push on through? It's hard to say. Um, it, it's one of those places where bulls could easily gain the advantage if we get some good earnings results or good jobs data um, out there. And it's also in that place where those bears could gain the upper hand. Um, if somebody out there, if um, earnings slip or there's some kind of news event that slips. So watch that closely. Um, we're just right there at that deciding line whether or not we're going to uh, push on through or break down. So watch that closely. And if you notice this morning, um, this pre-market candle is really, really uh, flat this morning. Uh, futures are just kind of floating around here as uh, earnings roll out this morning um, seems to be a little bit of a hesitation um, in the market this morning so watch that closely anything could change really really quickly as all this data rolls out this morning let's take a look at the spy spy i'm gonna have to give this one up to the bears uh, excuse me to the bulls as well um, pushing up here and you notice that we've just kind of squeaked through uh, this resistance level of that downtrend so we're recovering that but we've been unable to make a lot of confidence yet um, in that push through that we're actually going to hold we're trying to hang in here trying to hold up but we still are challenged by this overhead resistance whether or not those bulls will be able to overcome that and push on through or whether those bears will gain some um, some energy here to the downside. Now I will say the bears had some half-hearted attempts yesterday to get things moving, but there just wasn't enough energy for them to move through. So I'm not sure that they have the teeth to push this down, but we'll want to keep a close eye on this as the, all of this data rolls out. Then let's take a look at the Qs. Now the QQQ, obviously very very bullish it maintained its trend we pulled uh, back and threatened that trend hard um, last week but as you can see pushing back up and we're up here trying to break through but we've been struggling up here struggling to break through um, and it's going to be an interesting thing to watch um, if you paid attention to any of the news um, a, a senator has proposed a new sweeping um, antitrust legislation bill that could add some major pressure to some of the big tech companies out there. So we'll, we're just going to have to really stay on our toes here and watch this carefully as all of this plays out. 
But right up here, we also, we have that chance where the bulls can push this on through, make those new record highs. And I gotta kinda, honestly, I have to be leaning that way because of this trend. However, at the same time, I have to be respectful of the idea that this could be uh, double top high. If those bears were to re-engage here in here, you could see where we could have that bearish pattern show up in the chart. Can't say that they're going to have the energy to do that, but we do have to be mindful of the fact that that is still possible. So watch that closely. Then we have IWM. Now IWM um, was looking a little bit um, weak yesterday morning, and then we got the um, um, energy um, data the oil the oil uh, number and it showed a um, a slight just a 1.1 million barrels something like that uh, decline in supply um, U.S. supplies, and that helped bolster um, those energy sector stocks, helping them pick up. And we're seeing um, um, financial stocks trying really, really hard to hold up, being led by Goldman at the moment. So watch that closely, um, yet we still are challenged by this resistance level up here, whether or not we're actually going to push through. And you could certainly say um, that drawing the trend line here, it should be drawn um, a little bit further out. I just read drawing it, drawing it in here where I get the most touches to that line. And you can see that we, we kind of have that double whammy up here of that uh, trend that we need to break through and um, that little price resistance level. So here again, we, we set in that place where the bulls could easily gain the upper hand, pushing it to the upside. And because our trends are relatively bullish across the board, um, I have to give it to the bulls right now and, and kind of favor those. But at the same time, I don't want to be um, ruling out the possibility those bears could gain some energy here um, in some report and really start to push to the downside. So just stay on your toes and stay focused. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX, um, this is good news um, in my opinion. The VIX really pulled back hard the last couple of days. And so now there is no question, no matter how you draw this line, whether you use the wicks and or just the bodies of the candles, we have uh, dropped back down below that um, that trend break. And I think that's a really good sign. However, we still have um, this going on. We have these little rising lows in here. And um, we still have a VIX that's relatively elevated. Uh, um, above 20 handles here, it seems remarkable to me that we could be potentially setting new record highs with that volatility still running in that 20 handle area. But let's watch that closely. So good news in that we broke down, we did not hold this level um, in here for that um, opportunity that those bears were really going to engage here. But I don't think we're quite out of the woods yet here either, um, it, unless we can really start breaking down and making new lows in the VIX. And we really should be making those new lows if we're thinking about making new highs in the market. So it's kind of an odd um, circumstance here. So stay on your toes. This just tells us that we need to be pretty vigilant with our price action watching because anything is possible. And then let's take a look at T2122. Now T2122 is that four week new high, new low ratio. And I gotta tell you, I get more questions about this than anything, even though it's a, it's a really simple indicator it's just taking the four week new highs and new lows and creating this ratio. And I plot this with a just a line chart. And as you can see, we, we run in a range. Upper range is up here, lower range is down here. So I call this the bullish reversal zone and the bearish reversal zone in that chart. And as you can see, we're pushed back up here in that bearish reversal zone where we're reaching kind of a, an overbought condition in the short term. But but having said that, we don't really see the bears coming in with a whole lot of energy. So um, as we've seen before, we can stay elevated up here for a while. And we know this market is a just kind of an all or nothing market. E either we rush in and chase everything or we just bail out and run for the doors. So kind of an interesting situation here. But what this does signal is that we're up here in that area where danger could be lurking out there. We could see those bears re-engage. So watch that carefully and closely. Let's take a look at T2101. And this was um, a little bit 
positive yesterday, yet it's still a little bit concerning in that our overall market breadth of the market, notice how we just continue to decline. As we climb and climb and climb in this market, our market breadth continues to decline. Yesterday we saw a little bit of a tick up on a bullish day and I think that's a good sign. We want to see that market breadth increasing on those bullish days, not pulling back on those bullish days like we saw just yesterday. So watch that close. Kind of an interesting chart as we challenge that upper level, see whether or not we're going to have enough of that market breadth to push those bulls right on through. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. In our economic calendar, we've got a few things we're going to want to pay attention to. And as you can see, this morning before the open, we're going to deal with jobs claim, jobless claims. Now, we know this number has been bouncing around quite a bit. And although the market doesn't seem to really care whether we have jobs anymore, as long as we keep printing, um, printing money, we're okay with that. But let's keep an eye on it. We're going to have jobs kind of on the brain here for the next couple of days. As you can see, we've got the jobless claims this morning. And then we've got that big employment situation number tomorrow before the bell. So keep that in mind in, as you're planning your risk. Um, numbers like this before the bell can really move the market around substantially. So make sure you're prepared for that. Um, also, keep in mind today at 8.30, we've got productivity and costs. We've got factory orders at 10, natural gas at uh, 10.30, and the Fed balance sheet with a couple of Fed speakers in there. Um, so most of this doesn't uh, won't likely uh, be a major focus, um, but that jobless claims certainly will be um, as we move through the morning. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. And today is one of our busiest days on the earnings calendar with nearly 120 companies uh, fessing up to their results. Um, notables, there's quite a list of notables and I can't cover them all this morning. So if you guys are interested in the entire list, if you look right underneath the title of today's video, you'll see there's a link that'll take you back to the morning blog. And on that morning blog, I, I have a list of um, earnings notables that you might want to be paying attention to. But let's take a look at a couple here this morning. One that's been um, um, really prevalent in the market here um, and really um, benefited a lot from um, the pandemic, and that is Peloton. Peloton still showing lots and lots of strength here. Notice that we're going to be reporting earnings today that we've got this little downtrend started here, but we're holding on to some price support. So we have this wedging pattern in here. This is one of those charts that could go either direction on that earnings report. So keep a close eye on that. Peloton has really rallied strongly this year. Um, one would think that eventually we will run out of a little bit of that energy um, if we are starting to come out of um, uh, improve at least on the pandemic. But let's watch that closely. It could be an interesting chart to be paying attention to today. Um, take a look at Activision. Activision reporting today. We know these gaming stocks have been very, very strong this year um, as well, holding up nicely. But we do have a pattern up here that gives us a little bit of a concern, and that is that possibility of that head and shoulders pattern forming. So this is another one that might be kind of interesting on that earnings report. Other stocks that are in here, uh, take a look at BDX. BDX um, will be reporting today. It looks like they're gapping higher this morning. Perhaps that report is in and they're looking good. Look, they're breaking through some resistance levels here and pushing on up. Take a look at BDX. How about BLL? Bill BLL reporting today. We're going to get results from Clorox today. We're going to hear from CMI Cummins. This will be an interesting report. We um, have Deckers, Deckers Outdoor will be reporting today. And here's another one of those patterns. If you guys have been noticing, we're starting to see these patterns that are starting to give us just a little bit of concern and pause here. Um, more and more of those forming all over the market. So keep a close eye on that. We're also gonna hear from Ford 
keep an eye on Ford. This has been very, very bullish recently. And um, we heard of news of a deal between Ford and Google. It looks like all of the big techs are kind of starting to form up into alliances with car companies as we move forward with artificial intelligence and electric vehicles. So keep a close eye on that. Could be an interesting chart to pay attention to. Um, GILD. GILD will be reporting today. This this thing has st struggled quite a bit in this rally back up. Notice we broke this downtrend and we've rallied back up pretty sharply, but we continue to run into these levels in here and struggle with those. So keep a close eye on GILD. Continues to dance around in here. Might be an important report today. Um, we're going to hear from Merck. Today, Merck has been selling off, and as you can see, coming close to a level of support. If we were to break down through that, that would be a problem. Um, we have uh, Philip Morris on the list today. That might be worth paying attention to. We've got the old um, standby, old boring um, blue chip stock, a post out here, packaged foods. Let's keep an eye on it. And Snap. We'll want to keep an eye on Snap. Very bullish chart here, breaking out, extending. Um, this will be an interesting report today, so keep a, keep an eye on that. So there's a few stocks on that list, on those notables, that you might want to be watching. And if you want to catch the whole list, go back to the blog. You can catch all of those. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to um, wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. And if this is the first time that you've seen these videos, if you could please do me a favor. If you could please um, click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be useful, helpful to you, please click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, helps the channel to continue to grow. And if you share these videos out on your social media feed, it helps us as well. So please feel free to do that. Um, there's, I'm, I'm approaching a thousand videos on YouTube and a good deal of those are actually training videos. So if you want some more information about um, how I trade the things that I do, please feel free to uh, look through those videos. Um, um, we're getting a lot of great responses on those. So thank you so much. Let's take a look at some stock setting up. And remember, every time I bring up a chart in these videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, I, I'm pretty stringent on this, that I think everyone needs to be following their own plan and doing their own due diligence on a chart. I've always felt it, it, it is a major, major mistake for most traders to just blindly follow someone else's trade idea. You need to know the why. You need to know the technicals, why that is a good trade, and it needs to fit you personally as far as your risk tolerance um, in a trade. So kind of keep that in mind, even though I'm bringing up some st stocks that I'm paying attention to and watching, they may not fit you personally. Let's take a look at a couple of these. Now, one I want to be paying attention to here recently, and I've been watching pretty closely, is Oracle. Now, I kind of have a personal belief in this. I could be absolutely wrong that Oracle is uh, undervalued um, at the moment. And if we take a look at this stock, we've been running up in this trend, and I'm going to go to a weekly, and notice that we have recently broke through a major resistance level here that we haven't seen since 2000 in the chart. And you can see that we've rallied, we've held in here, and I'm watching this pretty closely. That possibility that we could catch a position in this trade. Now, if I look at this on a longer term, and by the way, I would be looking at this for a longer term hold. We have a beautiful bullish longer term pattern here. Good divvy payer on Oracle. We could see this maybe perking up. And I think it is just one of those undervalued stocks right now um, that hasn't been garnering all the attention that the big techs have. Keep a close eye on that. Oracle might be something to pay attention to. Um, Taking a look at NKLA. Now, NKLA, I've mentioned this every day this week. It finally had a little bit of bullish move in there popping up. You'll want to keep an eye on that. We may still rest here a couple, three more days, 
but it's worth keeping an eye on for that possibility that this may pop on out of here and continue to run this trend to the upside. Uh, note that we have some resistance out here that we could pop up into there, but that would be plenty, um, plenty of profit in there. Uh, for uh, pretty much anyone to get a, uh, a nice win there. So watch NKLA. It continues to set up, continues to look pretty good. Take a look at this JIMA. I've been mentioning this one several times. Continuing to kind of dance around this level and chopping its way, I believe, over here toward the trend. But this is just bullish enough that it could go at any time and really take off. I would like to see this rest two or three more days in here before it does go. But, you know, often the market doesn't give me what I want. I just have to stay focused on that price action. But watch that. Keep that. Might want to keep that chart on your list. Take a look at NNDM. NNDM I've been bringing up over and over in the morning videos. And as you can see, we have successfully held in here and we're resting right along my price alert. Um, at any time, we could see this pop and perk out and really break away to the upside. So watch that. This has been a beautiful upside trend. And there's no reason to believe that that is not going to continue. And we have plenty of time before the next earnings report to make some money on this. So keep a close eye on that. STX is another that I brought up the last couple of days. And yesterday it tried to make an attempt to go. Um, this is a, a, a big volatility move here on its earnings report. Now we've rested and pulled back. Don't be too surprised if this needs more time to kind of back and fill on that chart. But I think STX is continuing to set up and look pretty good. Keep a close eye on it. You might want to keep a close eye in this retail sector as well. Some of these little retailers looking pretty good here. And as you can see, we I had an alert on this chart. It just couldn't make it happen. We broke down with that volatility in the market, but now we're surging back up. Keep an eye on um, Abercrombie here, looking pretty good. This could extend itself on out. And the same thing is true for like Kohl's. Kohl's looking pretty good in here. So we're seeing some of these retailers looking uh, pretty strong. Keep a close eye on those as we continue to push on through. Um, um, a lot of the cannabis stocks have really stretched out here. You guys know that I was talking about these earlier in the week as a possible. Made some money here in cannabis on MJ. And I suspect that we may be reaching that point where we need a rest or pullback. So be careful with these. But with the Biden administration talking about legalizing cannabis, we'll want to keep an eye on these because there is certainly that possibility with a little rest consolidation in here. They will continue to extend to the upside. So watch that closely. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And I want to wish you great profits in your trading. Thank you so much for watching. And um, I want to um, echo out there to everyone stay safe. Be careful out there with this COVID stuff. It's not to be messed with. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Take care, everyone.